Greetings all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and welcome to a new week of Brian's Bible Break as we unpack verses from God's Word and reflect on them. Uh, this morning, uh, this week, we're going to be looking at what the Bible speaks about hope. We are uh, coming into the season of Advent and this coming Sunday is the first Sunday of Advent, the Sunday of hope. And uh, so I thought fitting that we give some thought to that as we near that first Sunday of Advent. So this morning we are going to be in the prophet Isaiah and reading verses, uh, chapter 40, verse 31 from the New International Version. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day. We're so grateful, O oh God, for all the ways that you bless us and encourage us, strengthen us for our journey. And so, Lord, we come into your holy presence eager to, to pause and to reflect on your word, to listen for your still small voice speaking to us a word of hope, a word of encouragement. And Lord, we just uh, surrender ourselves to you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. So Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. This uh, concluding verse of chapter 40 is, is a, a verse where the Lord is instructing the prophet Isaiah with a word of encouragement, a word of hope. And this concluding verse begins, and part of the reason why I'm using the New International Version is because different translations translate this verse differently. Some say, but those who trust in the Lord. Um, the New International Version says, but those who hope in the Lord. And God is giving us a word of encouragement here. That those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Now, it's not us who renew our strength, but it's God who renews our strength because we have placed our hope, our trust, our faith in him alone. For he is our source of strength. He's our source of wisdom. He's our source of courage. And so this word of encouragement for us this day is a word that, that helps us on our journey. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Many times we may feel weak, we may feel tired, worn out, drawn out, exhausted. And when we turn to the Lord in prayer, when we turn to the Lord uh, for, for encouragement from his word, we find that our, our strength is renewed. We find that we have renewed energy, a renewed um, sense of, of purpose. And it's the Lord's doing that, that we receive that. It's not in our own strength. If we rely on our own strength, our own ability, we will not be satisfied. But when we, when we place our hope and our trust in Him, He will renew our strength. And then the prophet gives us this, this imagery of what that renewed strength will look like. And what an exciting image that we are given here. They will soar on wings like eagles. And here in, in the Niagara region, in Niagara Falls, we're not so accustomed to seeing eagles soaring, but we certainly see hawks and turkey vultures soaring effortlessly, effortlessly, and uh, it's easier to say than it is, it is it's easier, yeah, anyway, without effort, and they just they they soar and they circle and glide on the on the currents and it's it's a wonder to watch. I never get tired of watching hawks soaring. 
one of the benefits of living in the lower mainland of, of BC in New Westminster, where we were before we came here to the falls, was that we had the privilege, um, the blessing, really, of seeing bald eagles in abundance and seeing them soar. And uh, it, what a joy it was every time we, we had the, the joy of, of seeing that. Um, quite often we would see them perched in the, in the pine trees across the street from our apartment and just truly majestic birds. But here the prophet is saying, they will soar on wings like eagles. In other words, when our strength is renewed by the Lord, we soar, we, we live our lives, we, we navigate the challenges of life effortlessly. Just like the eagle soaring in the sky appears to, to just coast, just glide on the, on the currents. It's not like the, you know, you see a, a small bird like a sparrow or a cardinal or a goldfinch, and they're flapping their wings for, for all they've got to get from point A to point B. Not the eagle. The eagle relies on the strength that God has given it in its wings. Yes, it's, a, it's physics, to be sure. It's science, yes, but but God has created them to be able to do that. And God has created us to be able to soar in his strength, to thrive in his strength. And that comes by placing our hope, our faith, our trust in him. He says, they will run and not grow weary. Well, that's an image that I can't wrap my head around. Because <laughs> God did not create me to be a runner. I can tell you that right now. Um, and when I run, I do get weary. But when I run the race that God has set before me, I don't. And that's, in, that's the interesting difference. When I go for a jog, which I will tell you does not happen hardly ever... Um, it's, it's not a joyful thing and, and it's, it's painful actually, and it's exhausting. But when I'm running the race set before me that God has set for me, doing the, doing the, the work of ministry that God has given me to do, I don't get, I don't grow weary. I don't get exhausted. Sure, it can be tiring, but physically, but spiritually, it, it is joy, uh, joyful, and it is life-giving. And that's because it is coming from him, not me. It's not a, it's not a drudgery. It's not, a, it's, it's not something that I come to grudgingly. Something that is, is joyful and life-giving. And when you are doing something in the Lord's strength, in the Lord's, according to the Lord's purpose for your life, it's, it's effortless. Effortless. Yeah, I can't say that word today. <laughs> it's... It, it's just, it's joyful. And, and that's because we receive the strength to do it from him. And then the prophet concludes by saying they will walk and not be faint. And, and that's the joy of, of being, of living according to God's will. Walk, run, doesn't matter. Is when we are serving the Lord, when we are living our lives according to His will and His purpose for our lives, we don't faint. We don't. We don't get grow weary. It's life giving. 
and it brings peace and joy to our hearts. And so, friends, I encourage you this day as you as you think on these verses, give God thanks and praise that, that he is able to give us the strength we need to navigate this day. And that when we are walking according to his will, he fills our hearts with joy. And, and our lives have meaning. They are life-giving. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you that you do not leave us to our own abilities and our own strength and our own wisdom to navigate life. But Lord, you help us. When we place our hope in you, Lord, we live according to your will. When we place our hope in you, you renew our strength each and every day. And so, God, we pray that you will continue to guide us and uphold us with your love and your grace. You'll place your, your hand of favor, your hand of strength upon us this day. You will uphold us with your mighty and outstretched arm. And Lord, that we will seek to walk humbly with you and lean into the purpose that you have set for each one of us. That we will run the race that you have set before us with perseverance and with joy and with thanksgiving. That everything we do will be for your glory. And it is, it is in Jesus' precious name that we pray. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me this morning for this short reflection on God's Word. I hope that it has been an encouragement to you. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we unpack another verse from God's Holy Scriptures. So, friends, go in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen. See you tomorrow, friends.